Hey, 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 this is Kurt the Boat Doctor. Ooh, got a little stuff in the front of the camera now that you care, or I care. Anyway, beautiful beaver orange. Getting some gas in here, we're gonna put in about 25 gallons of non ethanol. It's a nice bright orange, can't miss this one. Uh, I got this V Max four stroke 250 super high output jet. Uh, Freshwater flush, here's your trim, uh, heavy duty uh, steering cable. You got your uh, T99 high thrust power tilt tiller, Swiss Army knife and tiller handles. You got your friction here for, to set your uh, throttle. You got your trim here. Stop, start, primer, everything's right here. That's why I call it the Swiss Army knife for tiller handles. 11 by seven, of course this is a jet, you don't have no pitch pop on that. Okay, the short distance I'm gonna go, I just take these off but don't you do it that's yeah do as i say or whatever they say you got a nice fish box here that locks put this down here again side looks really nice 21 by 84 i think this one had the strikes yeah geez you got four four strikes on this one see those little underneath the boat and you got that little reverse on the side right here if you look at that that helps this thing keep flat turn tight picks it up quicker better ride keeps the front end smoother you got the diamond plate anchor guard so if you're pulling up your anchor granny you got this minnacota old terra uh, with the ram mount it makes it so it doesn't vibrate but like i say if you're going to be going out there oh all over the map boat doctor you got S, uh, st 205 75r 14 mags a black aluminum outside five lug 50 pound tire pressure probably eight pound torque on the lug nuts got these pop out hubs so when these things pop out that means they need the grease it takes quite a while i mean they're one of them ones that actually hold oh uh you know go quite a while without putting grease in them uh disc on all four you got uh, all custom aluminum trailer, which is nice. See you right there with the bumps on there. No U-bolts, no hangers, no nuts to rust on you. And I imagine this is torsion axle, which it is. Again, leaf springs not rusting on you. So this is kind of the way to go. <clears throat> Man, it's a Pro-X. You got a step, so you can come from here, step down. Oh, good idea there. Don't let me forget about that carabiner. Then you can get down on here, serial number, which they always should have did. They stamped them into the trailer. Uh, brake fluid's under there, I already checked it. This has got to be pulled all the way to get that cap off. You got the flat flip, I like that, with this safety pin in it. You can always get locks for those. You got cables versus uh, chains, they don't rust, two inch ball. So if you got a straight out coupler like this, then typically it's about 18 to 20 inches to the top of the ball. So when you come down, just put your stinger in your truck. Oh God, I'm only 16. You better get her up to about at least 20. Are you gonna be way low? Um, so anyway, breakaway cable for the brakes. If it pulls away, they'll knife them brakes so it doesn't jackknife and go all over and ram in the back of your truck. Like happened. <laughs> anyway, put a carabiner on this, double security bottle opener i could find other uses for that though but anyway if you needed to get this thing off you can just pull this this thing comes off out of here pulls out over here and then this whole thing comes out so don't let these two bolts fool you okay just pull that and this whole thing lifts this is a self-deploy everybody's going to these there's a remote control i'll program all this when i'm out there you got to program your uh puck once it's done you're done you just push the button and again, these will not turn on unless they're down. You gotta have the power on, it powers up, but nothing will spin on. You don't have to worry about the prop and stuff until it's deployed. The deploying, the stowing and deploying is the most important. Uh, you gotta get that right. Once you get that right, the rest of it's easy. And don't go into a heavy current, like a seven mile an hour current, and you're going into it and lift that motor. You're better to spin the boat around and use the current to help lift the motor. So you're putting a lot of stress on that worm gear. There's your gas vent. I'm gonna put in about 25 gallons. Uh, like I say, tongue jack, we went through the trailer. Then up in here is the, all your batteries and battery chargers. There's your foot feet over there for your bow mount. 
wash down fish boxes storage seats cleats anchor lights got a bow light shine guide shine guide teflon poof no scratches on the side that way easy to load fish box with the gutter in it for drainage lock that down uh got your battery switch dual batteries you got your uh fuel filter with what you know, the clear bowl on the bottom to see if you got any particles is what i look for or if you see water you can just open that cockpit but i would probably always carry a spare if you're not using yamaha just carry a, a spare insert so if that ever happened because once you get gas into that sometimes they don't have the paper element the yamaha has but if you just see a little gap water in there you could, at least you could get it out of there and then if it was real bad where it didn't want to start again you could just change the filter out in the water real quick and carry an oil spinner wrench with you and it eventually you're going to hook it up to a hand wash off the kicker into that tub over there the hand wash tub uh, that's something i don't know why for some reason i don't know anyway there's a p66 with the speed wheel if you're going to get a p66 get the speed wheel that's water speed so you'll have gps speed ground speed and you'll have water speed that's important because if the current's going, you're traveling three miles an hour, even if that sucker's in neutral. So you got to know what your water speed is, and that's and you might get it. I mean, if you're going to order P66, get this speed, the tamp, and there you go. Put in my drain plug, T99, 250, saltwater protective, zinc's on every cylinder, zinc on the block. Uh, this here's your grease fitting. You pop that out. Every time you use it, pump some grease in there, uh, three, four little pumps. Until it comes out pop that in if you want to buy another flush kit they have a yamaha flush kit you take this out you put it in here hook up garden hose just like this freshwater flush right over here try to run these motors okay every time you go out or at least every month once a month run that kicker motor you will on this boat but a lot of these bigger modes are using for just a get back motor so that for a year they haven't ran them that gas gets old and they, so that goes out it, the little one ain't gonna run probably got the carburetors are gummed up shellac uh, double zinc bars which is good I'll go see how much gas we got we got uh, tackle trays tackle trays fuel gauge you got that 6.8 gauge on the Yamaha that does the troll which on this it doesn't really matter 12 volt power point got an 8612 I think on the Garmin which is good units you got bilge pumps you got two wash down hoses and then I'll see how much gas we got in here. And then I have to hit this Bluetooth pug. There's 25, so, so I'll stop it right there. And what I'm gonna do is just put this back because I gotta pump the advertisement. Advertisement. And put the gas cap back on. That just slides down in there. This is your gas vent. To see if those are ever, if they're working right, you'll feel air when you're filling them coming out of this. And then you do have this ladder right here. Do 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 do. Now you can step up and I'll turn the key on. Oh, looky there, looky there. And always check your fuel when you're level on the water, not on the trailer, not when you're running. Because if you're running it, it's going to put all the gas in the back and say you got a full tank of gas when you don't. There's your dual batteries. And I'm going to pump these up real quick before I leave. This is just storage. Big room, 2184 bottom. And you just push here, you heard your uh, T-handle tightener for your drain plug, you put that in there and twist it. You got extra door locks, keys, plugs for these right in here, in that bag. Push that down, lock it, push this down. There's your battery charger, and there's your batteries. Make sure this is turned on. You can shut this whole thing off by just pushing this button right here and it pops this breaker down. So that shuts your power off completely. There's a button right down here you can push. Then you just go down, touch your foot feet. Okay. You're a bow doctor. All that talking. Oh man, you even got oh we even got the external GPS antenna. The GSX 19. Mm -hmm. Okay, orange too. And this window flips down, locks right here. So if you don't want the window, there you go. Okay, boat doctor, out of here. Should I do the mic drop? Come on, come on, should I? Should I?
Come on, let me do the mic drop. Come on. All right. What do I do? Okay. Mic drop. Boom.